The tool which has made this possible is the high-speed digital computer. Hello and welcome back to our ongoing look at the Dell Venue 8 Pro. The Dell Venue 8 Pro is an 8-inch Windows 8.1 tablet. Um, we were fortunate enough that we were able to give one away at uh, Pete the Plumber's annual golf tournament. And uh, we thought it would be appropriate to uh, spend a bit of time going through it. Now in the previous video, we sort of took a look at the, the specifications um, or precursor of what you can expect. In this video, we're actually going to take a look at um, you know what you're going to look forward to on the first boot. Um, so essentially, what uh, what you're going to be expected to have in order to actually set up and use the tablet. We won't jump in too much into Windows 8.1 in this video. We'll do another one um, where we'll just kind of give you a couple of quick little pointers on how to use Windows 8.1. But on this one, and we're not really going to show you <clears throat> exactly what's on. The screen i'm just going to essentially explain it to you so that you uh, you know what to get into so when you first boot up the tablet um, the first thing it's going to do is ask you to make your region and language selections this is pretty straightforward i mean for regions you want to choose canada assuming you are in canada unless of course the winner of this uh, the, this tablet has sold it overseas in which case you might be here looking at it for a different reason altogether once you choose uh, Canada, it's automatically going to choose the app language of Canadian English, which is what you want. And then finally, you're going to choose Mountain. By default, it's going to likely set itself up for uh, Central Time Zone, so you want to change that to Mountain. Once you click Next, um, at this stage, it's basically going to give you the licensing terms. So you have the choice, of course, if you'd like to, you feel free to go through and read it. We will not. We're just going to hit Accept. Now there are basics when you first set this up that it's gonna ask you to go through, okay? <clears throat> the first one is to personalize the tablet, and that means giving it a name. So for us, we'll just call this Clever IT. You can also choose a color, it gives you that option. Most people keep it the same. Um, and basically that's just sort of a theming color. Um, you'll see it most prominently on the start menu when you first start using Windows. And the next thing it's going to ask is for you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So let's just do this. All right. Now, the next thing that it's going to ask you is about the uh, settings that you want to choose. Now, you have the option of customizing settings or using the express settings. The express settings just enable certain things within the tablet that um, generally are, are fine. I mean, I, I very rarely see anybody choose customize for our own machines. We don't use customize. We just go with the express settings. So that's what I would recommend that you do. Now, the next thing, and this is probably the most troubling part for people first getting into using a Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 um, PC or tablet. And that's logging in with your Microsoft account. <clears throat> now, Microsoft specifically asks you to log in with a Microsoft account or create a Microsoft account if you already, or don't already have one. Now that's fine. And it's really your only option. Now in, in older versions of Windows 8, so the, the initial version of Windows 8, um, it was very easy to set up with just a local account and not use a Windows, uh, um, a Microsoft account, sorry. Unfortunately, that's changed now with Windows 8.1. It's buried a couple layers um, deep in order to be able to turn, or sorry, log in with a local user account. So, and, and if you don't use a Microsoft account, you're gonna run into some problems if you ever try to use any of the apps from the App Store because what's gonna happen is, is that um, those apps are gonna ask you to, or pretty much require you to have a Microsoft account, um, and then you're gonna have to log in with that account individually to each app, whereas if you have logged in using your Microsoft account, you don't have to worry about that. So, we're gonna go ahead here and just log in with ours. Okay, now you may or may not see this depending on how you've set up your Microsoft account, but there may be a, um, uh, an additional step required where it's going to verify your account. And how it's basically going to do that is by sending you a code to your cell number. We're gonna bypass that for the moment. 
but it is an extra layer of security. Um, and so it basically just ensures that you are the right person to be connecting into that account. Um, it's called uh, um, basically a, it's, it's a second layer of, uh, of security. When you first go to set up your PC, if this is the first time that you've used your Microsoft account on a Windows 8 tablet, then it's very straightforward. It's just going to set it up. If, however, you've used that account on a, on a, on a previous machine, it's going to ask you if you want to set this up as a new PC or if you want to um, restore data from an old PC. So we're going to actually uh, set this up as a new PC. <clears throat> Um, then it's going to ask you, or it's going to advise you, I should say, about SkyDrive and the fact that it's pretty much enabled by default. SkyDrive is Microsoft's alternative to um, Dropbox and Box.net. Um, it is actually called OneDrive, but the default software that will come with this tablet is still referring to it as SkyDrive. An update that you will have to install um, after you get into Windows um, will upgrade that and then it'll be known as OneDrive from that point forward. Once you hit next, it will then now take the process of setting up your account. It's going to do a couple little things in the background as it's doing it. It'll restart the tablet at least one time. And then the next thing that you should see is your password prompt asking you to log in. And then when you log in, you will see the start menu screen. So as I mentioned earlier in the next video, we'll take a quick look at Windows 8. We'll just sort of give you a little introduction to Windows 8. Um, it won't be directly on this tablet. It will be using a, an actual computer, but the interfaces are identical. Um, with uh, these tablets, it's a little bit harder for us to get a good, uh, good clean um, uh, recording of this screen. So certainly it's, it's a lot easier if we can do that from a computer. So we'll get that set up for you and uh, we'll see you in the next video.